Welcome to USL Live and to the opening weekend of Season 22 of Unified Skirmish League. I'm your host, Romulox, and the game tonight features a head-to-head matchup between the preseason number one ranked squad, over 9,000, and the preseason third ranked squad, Zero Tolerance. This will be the first test for two teams who are both currently predicted to earn a playoff berth, and a first chance for many to witness the full strength of their rosters. For more information on the teams, match statistics, and how you can sign up to play in the Unified Skirmish League, we ask that you please visit uslzone.com. Joining me in the commentary booth for tonight's matchup, I am privileged to welcome in two of the classiest individuals I know. We have Ernie, a.k.a. Tactical. Yo. And Josh, a.k.a. The Gift. Good evening. Welcome to you both. Um, Over 9,000 come into this game the heavy favorites. Uh, comprised of nearly the exact same Low Life Thugs roster that just took home the Golden Goblet for Season 21, with some notable exceptions. Shasta and Trizance were added in the offseason, two talented Marines, but the squad lost Fairfax, one of the best medics in the game. Question for you both, which was the stronger roster, Low Life Thugs in Season 21 or Over 9000 in Season 22, and why? Ernie, go to uh, you first, if that's okay. I think if everyone shows, their lineup this season is actually stronger, even though they lost Fang, because Sov could slot into Medic if he needs to, and I, I think Triz better than Pister and or Revenge, who they usually have to use. Uh, it's going to depend on if like Champ shows, Nas shows, Iso shows. If everyone shows, yeah, and their lineup is way better. Yeah, I agree 100%. Um, you lose a good medic in Vax, but like Ernie said, Sov can slot in a medic. You have CC, obviously can medic. Iron's still the best medic in the league. Trizens is shaking off Rust, but he's going to be very good. So yeah, I think this season their lineup is better. Okay. Uh, zero tolerance are the challengers to the crown tonight. A team which was cobbled together through an alliance made between Apollo and Spartacus, and they have filled the squad with competent veteran players. The preseason third-ranked squad overall They're going to have their hands full tonight, though, if they want to take home a victory. The question for you two guys tonight is, the map is Urban Decay, which is a new, smaller map designed to encourage more combat in matches, built by military police. What does Zero zero Tolerance need to do tonight to pull off the upset, and does this map make that result more or less likely to happen? I think... This is actually in Zero Tolerance's favor. It's the kind of map that uh, Apollo preferred. Slow it down, a lot of angles to hold. I feel like this map is good for weaker players because you can hold chokes easier on this map. Can't get, it's very hard to push chokes on this map. So they could set up play, they could slow it down. I think it works in their favor. So they can definitely set up plays, and depending on how campy Apollo wants to get, it could be somewhat in their favor. But I think Sov being the best leader in the game, he's constantly getting angles. Um, if he looks like he's AT at the moment, which means he's going to be solo getting angles and getting visions, I think Zero Tolerance is in trouble. Okay. Um... With that said, let's go ahead and get some predictions on the table. We're, what, about uh, four minutes to start here. How, talk about how you think just overall this match is going to go, and then if you don't care, give a final prediction uh, overall. Let's start with Ernie. I could see this map start, or this match starting out very slow pace. Um, once fighting starts, I think, like you said, we're just going to get ran over. Uh, it's up to them to keep composure and pretend like to score zero zero at all times and just don't let it get out of hand for ZT. And do you have, yeah, I'm sorry, do you have oh, a final ahead. score? I'm gonna say it's not gonna be a really high scoring game. I'm gonna say maybe forty eight to thirty or so. Okay. Gift. I tend to agree that it'll probably start off slow. ZT will set up a couple plays to keep it close, and then I think after about 10 minutes, it'll open up, and over 9,000 will probably run away with it. Um, it looks like King is Nader, which could slow pace down a little bit. 
Yeah, I'm going to say over 9,000, like 52 and ZT 36. Okay. So 4830 for Ernie in favor of over 9,000, and Gift is on 5236, also in favor of over 9,000. But I think both of you would agree, it sounds like that uh, ZT is going to keep this game competitive, at least, for week one. Yeah, I, th- I think they can. They have the, the people to do it, full of veterans. They have the Nader. We'll see how they use it. I think it, it definitely favors style of play this match. So it can go, it could be pretty close. Again, I think they'll. Or 9K will pull away with it. Well, let's uh, cover the rosters here to start with. For over 9,000, we have CC, Demon, Iron, Pilaf, a.k.a. Yosh, Pister, Shasta, Sav, and Trizens. It looks like right now we've got CC and Iron playing your medic roles. Um, guys, tell me, each of you, if you would, who are the three players for that roster you're watching the most? Uh, I'm going to watch Triz a lot this game. I haven't watched him since he's been back, but he's always a really strong player. Uh, Demon is always good. Eric. And of course, Iron is always solid, no matter what. Uh, so I don't copy what Ernie just said. Um, I'm, I'm going to pick Shasta, Pister, and CC, because Shasta and Pister tend to be a little more passive and wait till other people get kills before they get aggressive and push in. And CC's kind of the opposite of those two Marines, where he'll push in and be a little aggro before his Marines, so it'll be a balancing act there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do the same thing. Zero Tolerance currently. We have Brillheart, Danny, Flash, Gorilla, a.k.a. Splitta, K, Kevin, King, R, and Spartacus. Um, it looks like what we're going to have flash and no fresh right now. Uh, game looks like games on actually. I'll give you a quick one. So Danny has been playing extremely well in the preseason. Uh, he's definitely going to be the star player this season. I'm looking towards Tyrael, aka King to do his thing. You know, he didn't get much opportunity last season. So I'm glad he gets to start a squad where he's actually going to get to play and see what he can do. Uh, up R is starting, and I know like he just recently came back a week or two weeks ago. Something starting like that. Starting his man so too. I'm curious that he's in. Yeah. Um, looks yeah, like they're headed top left already. Interesting yeah, it looks like, choice. It, yeah, it looks like King is actually playing Thapper, demolitionist. Sorry, that'll be interesting to see. I think it's really strong on this map. So what he can do with it. Currently, two different sides of the map. Uh, ZT looks like they're going straight north. We've got uh, we've got mostly over nine thousand hovering south, but it looks like over nine thousand is shifting left. So we might have some contact here around Blue Building. Uh, I can't see if I'll use this dash yet just to get in position, but he could die here if he doesn't have it. Yeah, never mind. Dave had to burn his defensively, which is never he good. Took a hit, few hits too. Okay, he got meted. But here's the first contact though. Well, we haven't touched on it much, but AT did get nerfed pretty, pretty strong. Like, uh, dash is super important now. In terms of when you use it, uh, as, as terms, you were saying, yes, yes. the 30-second 30, the 30 timer, definitely, instead of a 15-second timer for uh, um, for being able to dash, makes a huge difference because you now yeah, have to choose have, when you use it. You have to be very you know, cautious of when you use it now. You can't just use it willy-nilly. So Yoshi went Nader and already opened up the battle with a mortar kill on Danny, so they should clean up this battle. AT really needs to just not get careless and stick around. Looks like they're running, which is smart play, obviously. So ZT falling well there. Yeah. What an R need to just turn and run here. Group with Danny, reposition. Don't let it get sloppy. That's the thing with these kind of games. Don't, just let, don't let it get sloppy. It's fine, even if you lose. Mm -hmm. That's my biggest pet peeve. Uh, ZT getting a northern flank there. We have K getting involved. Good, good angles here from ZT. I've not seen KW play LMG before either. Yeah, it's an interesting choice, but I think it... The only downside is he's solo up there. 
He's getting 2v1 yeah, he's getting pushed up. and yep. he's, he's dead. Best to just say to BG, I believe. He's fine. Well, now ZT needs to re-collect, get together, push out one direction. It was a good start and a good fall. Just, just as you said, keep your composure. Yep. It's oh, only 3-0. No. And he is slow. Good loss, good loss. real hard. RPG, but Tyrio, they're just not getting any kill. Team in this courtyard needs to fall because I have no medic, and I'm pretty sure Danny is extremely low right now. And the angles in that courtyard don't give you much to work with. Real doesn't yeah, realize he's very, got... Okay. That courtyard is extremely dangerous. He's sitting around it. I think they need to reset and get south. Mm -hmm. King and R just trying to escape. Looks like they're going to get out. Somehow over 9,000 always has the ability to make you look like you have one less player than they do. Um, the... The angles they get are just all encompassing. Yeah, you know every angle to hold and take advantage of whatever the weakest side is for sure. It's holding them. Yosh and K having a nade off here in the C building, what we've been calling kind of control. What is going to die north to Sov as well at G two? They might be able to get this bottom team if they're quick enough. He's yeah, gonna have the angle. I believe Yoshi dies here, regardless. Oh, Yoshi is is really hurting. One more. Yep. There we go. Meantime, though, at least our other team exposed. I have three chasing one. Yeah. Fortunately, they're able to fall in those buildings. That's the uh, that's what Urban Decay offers you a little bit is the ability to retreat like that. Five to two, still a three kill game. You gotta get these kills north. Map is extremely hard to pursue, so to make every kill count. I yeah, left, go down. left team got too aggressive there. Flash is Hit down. Him. K about to go down any second. He might be able to pick up CC here. Oh, he changed. Danny changed. He Sov, changed target. Sov is on one bullet, but he's going to get to a medic. Jasta with the triple. Danny trying to dodge it out. ZT could have cleaned that up if the left team had just played just a second more passively and the right side to push left. Yeah, the timing was slightly off, but they almost had it. Who do we think is leading right now? For uh, Is it Split? Is it Dave? Uh, actually not sure who leads for them. Yeah, it could be K. Who knows? The positioning, I feel like it's Split Dave. I know Split was very, was real vocal when I NT'd for them. I don't know about whether Dave was leading or not. Yeah, I don't I don't know who leads for this squad. Dave could lead, Split could lead, Danny could even lead too. I don't think K is leading from the Nader position. That's ZT bad. getting overwhelmed here on the right. Oh, and there's a yeah. law. Brill goes down. This team on the right is also fighting for their lives. They're heavily reliant on the support classes right now, which is always a bad sign, especially mm -hmm. from you're playing from behind so hard. Yeah, and especially when the over 9,000 comes uh, with the Marines, just the Marine lineup. Yep. They meant business. I feel if ZT was just a little more patient in the first five minutes, they mm -hmm. could have maybe done something, but it seems like they've kind of panicked and switched to Nader and... They're not going to push at all the rest of the match, and you have to yeah. push when you're losing. Only really have like any and split uh, as Marines right now. So, looks like uh, over 9,000 is going to retreat south. They're going to shift it over to the left side of the map. Just stabilize and go again. React to whatever ZT throws at them. Hold the standard angle. Two, three on the road. Guy south, just are shifting now. Dave might get there for too late. Oh, R takes a stream there and goes down. Uh, splits about to follow. Tyrion may not. Looks like he's gonna Again, be able to like, make it out as a demo, Mo, but Mo is one of those classes where if your team is just getting pushed, it's really hard to do anything. Oh. 
this is going to be their game plan all season by just getting multiple support classes and they need to get it down because it's just not working right now. Pister's going to die by Dave. Dave takes Pister again. That's Pister's second death, I believe. The only person they're able to take down. Flash down as well. And he's going to die. And this is kind of a worst case scenario right now for ZT. This is exactly what you did not want to see. Right, especially with the play style they're going for. It's, it's very hard to come back. Yeah, there's 21 minutes of this remaining. And if you if you don't take control over, at least control over the deaths, uh, this could be end up being a bad final score. Yeah, way too sloppy early on. See if they can regroup and head. And and they haven't even okay. rattled over nine thousands cage yet. Like they haven't even gotten them off off of off step in terms of having to recalculate and stabilize. Not one time. I think over nine thousand has been the driver's seat of every single encounter so far the entire way. Yeah, not even close. Really Sob think seven and zero. Shasta six and zero already to start. I think they big numbers. I think they should just all Marines have uh, material play LMG and try something else. This is not working. Just for my fantasy score, how's Yosh doing? <laughs> now I'm wishing I picked up Saab. I told Yoshi you. Green one. Oh. Uh, out of position, pretty bad death for them. Paul and Kirill's gonna die here. You're, you're exactly right. I think there's just too many support classes right now. Uh, not enough Marines, and maybe that was the idea. They thought that maybe they could counter this full Marine lineup with a specialty class. But not so. Yeah, really needed to win the first fight. This they kind got... of place out to work, and then it's just so hard to come from behind. Do with the support classes they have. The, so the South Group did get iron. At least there's that. Uh, but that makes it 27 to five. A lot of ground to make up if you want to get back in this game, or even make it respectable at this point. Yeah, and even if you lose, you kind of just have to keep your composure and keep playing as if it's tied. They're just going to crumble and start feeding then. I don't know what they're doing. Sport classes are fun to play in pub, sometimes in SBs to troll a little bit, but in matches where it counts, you need Marines that can push and fight for you. And even if you have one support, it's still heavily reliant on your Marines. Like, demo can be really good if they're not getting focused. Yeah, I agree. If you have a nader and a demo... You can't do anything without the Marines. But it does seem debuilding, debilitating to me when you have a Nader and a Demo at the same time. That's two people who can't really shoot um, and, and against six Marines. Or right. five Marines it's in like AT. A strong Marines, too. Like, mm -hmm. And he's a really good player. He just can't get anything going because he's basically, you know, going to be three Marines at the moment. Kevin is not on point with his mortars tonight either, so I, I really think he needs to switch. Pister's low right now. To try and get out. CC chasing him down for a heal. Hey, oh, Yoshi shot his two mortars and then switched to LMG. They don't. They don't even need the mortars anymore. Yep. You know? There's just That's no. There's no focus fire. There's no like they just got Pister down to maybe 20 HP and Demon down to maybe 20 HP or less. Well, if you, and no focus. See that, see that right side fire to Tyrell switching to LMG. It's Literally just one gun. When Dave's AP is down, he, he doesn't do anything. Evan's right. not doing anything. And then the medic has PDW, so it's, it's literally just one AR stream. You can't really do anything with it. I'm glad they switched uh, them off. We're going to win LMG. Yeah, it's too late. This is going to be a really good law here. Yeah, mm. pretty well. Law by Eric. And the hits keep coming for zero tolerance. Yeah, still 17 minutes of this. You gotta. Uh, this is also one of those maps where you can't really sneak out of base. All it takes is one person on that top left side to see exactly where they're going. So they'll do. I had to guess Sav will go top left and the rest will kind of lingle south. Iron and Sav were doing a lot of work there in that top left of uh, C building, just being a distraction, doing maximal damage against that, that left side team. And then iron shifted into the building, and then it became a push. Um, 
It's uh, just not enough focus fire and no cohesive plan on the side of ZT. And like Slav is going to see them here, call the rotate, and then they'll just get boxed in again. Pretty spread, time being. What would you do differently if you were trying to, to mitigate this right now? Would you murder ball together or, or keep the split? You kind of have to take advantage of the position of Saw. They see him, they have to know that the other team is kind of away from him. So maybe either, I don't know, it's really rough. You have to stick together, though. Their game plan's not working. Oh no. Those rocks are really bad. Yeah. From these That's a long lane for a medic to be in with a law coming right at you. <laughs> oh, it looks like KW finally switched to Marine. So, again, a little bit too late, but that's what they should have done sooner. We have the guns now to fight. Right. You already see it in action here, like pressuring them. Oh, Flash no is going to go down here. He's on one bullet. Yep. Yeah, he, he was a little bit too far up. The yep. energy he had. Real is low. Spartacus and Danny just trying to make it out, survive for yeah. their lives. Typically, Dave would have been completely fine there. Oof. With the new changes to the dash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he only had that one dash and it wasn't enough. Another full respawn here for ZT with 15, half of the game to go. 15 minutes, 15 seconds. Oh, that was a there. really bad death by Iceman there. I don't know what he was doing. I'm going to be honest that I missed that one. He was at the top side of C building, maybe trying to get vision for them, and he, he died instantly. His brick grenade. Yeah, I think at this point you just try to death ball and push one side. Oh, sitting, nice law on Saab there. Sitting by your base isn't going to do anything at this point. So Yoshi's going to go down too. No, he gets out. Wow. A little bit of overconfidence here from over three thousand, over nine thousand, but I mean four on three on the right potentially kill Pister here. Kind of entitled to it. But then needs to get to South Angle. There's kind of low. I don't think he has a heal yet. Oh, there goes, there goes Triz. Demon should die here. Yep. Sloppy death. Nice. Again, ZT. Respectful. That's the biggest thing. ZT finally with some team shooting. It's the difference for him. Danny getting involved too. Yeah, this is what we were talking about. They they, they have firepower now. Oh. Have three support classes. Yeah, you got to retire the support classes. You've got to put Shasta down here. Do not let him get back. Okay. Uh, this is exactly what, what Josh and I were talking about. Like, they have the firepower to fight, hold their ground now, have, you know, Nader, Ripper, Nader, Demo, AT. We know over 9,000 is the top squad in the league, too. So obviously, that's going to be a tough match. But they getting them having collective, too, it's a pretty strong advantage on this map. Yeah. They have to commit to this push now. And we're actually near the Kali uh, lines here for the first time in this game as well. Oh, nice law from Sav. Gets Danny hanging too close to that uh, metal barricade. Uh, they needed to kill Sav quicker there because they committed to the, to the push and it took way too long. Brill down as well. Split. Tyrael flash down as well. Looks like Tyrael's going down any second. Oh, my goodness. Tyrael's got to be on 10 HP, if that. Law, was law with Split's good, name on it. I like this was any other map, he would have died there. For whatever reason, laws are really wonky for snipe. This map. Yeah. That's a good example of one we've been talking all week. It's just like laws don't yeah, seem don't, to work the know, same way. I don't know why it's like that on this map, but it is. Well... Another ZT fall there, but not a bad push. I mean, uh, a good teamwork to get to the lines for over 9,000. Uh, scores 55 to 12, though, so still a lot of work to be done. Yeah. Way off on our prediction. 
again, they did the right thing by switching and just play as if it's zero versus zero to zero, you know? Very respectable. I like seeing the aggression in that battle from ZT for sure. Completely different mindset. Again, this is week one. It doesn't really matter. This is a learning experience. What works, what doesn't work. Looks like most of over 9,000 hanging out on Main Road, going north. Uh, with the, actually the main team is actually flanking around blue main, with the flank on Main Road. And we're going to have another encounter north here as Sov's going to turn and see him. Sov can get out. Now look at, look at that collective fall right there. That's exactly how you play this on the left side. They also subbed out R and Sabotage is metting for them. That's not surprising. R did have a, a couple of rough deaths. I'm not sure they were any rougher than Flashes, but rough. Uh, yeah, actually, that's a good point. I don't know why Sabotage wasn't in from the start. Right. <clears throat> maybe he wasn't here, maybe he was like. Well, I uh, mean, Mr. Anal didn't catch that. They were able to get a couple, Iron and Demon, and now they are retreating, running as fast as their legs will carry them towards the Titan base. We got here fifty-nine to sixteen, ten minutes left. Not really surprised. Thought it would be a little closer. Oh my word! Look at Sob sixteen and one right now on this game. Demon ten and three. Uh, Trizen's eight and two. CC is doing a, a bang up job betting at twenty eight sixteen right now. It's good to see that. He's gonna call that their right side is weak because they have three in that controller building. I smell oh, dead here. Jeep battle going on the road. Over oh, nine thousand spread really far right now. They can kill Yoshi here. Yoshi and Pistrick go down here quick enough. Yep. Yep. What Josh was talking about aggression there finally. Yeah, especially having Yoshi and Pister as your two widest guys. Um... Riz goes down. I think I'd prefer to have a different Marine do those jobs. Yeah, I mean, get it, soft squad. That's what I always tell people. Maybe it's dumb to say, but like your guns do just as much damage as theirs do. Don't be scared. You can put, you can fight them. Mm -hmm. Demon and Pister both getting involved there. Brill goes down to finish. Sixty-six to nineteen, and what we were hoping for ZT was to be able to stem the tide a little bit to stop the bleeding, um, but the bloodletting continues. Yeah. Point. Their game plan just didn't go how they thought it would, and like after that very first fight, they would have put their game plan and played like they are now. Like would have been way closer than it is. ZT definitely that. not on the same page. I, I, like everybody's played the game for a long time, but how many of these players have actually played Together. with each other? Yeah, right. right. Okay, okay. Momentum. They're gonna get iron here. Yeah, great push again. Yeah. When the focus fire is on, they look excellent. And this is what they need to do. Actually, I'm, what you'll do is you want to single someone out. In this case, likely going to be Yoshi. Love the guy, but he is the, you know, the weakling. And you see it there for that reason. CC could die here. Oh, my word. Way to get out of that CC. And, like, real streams have been on point since he switched to LMG. Yeah. And they just wasted so much time. Tough push here, though, south. If you're going to commit, you got to commit. Uh, yeah, I don't think they sh should not push this this time. They don't have numbers like they had last time they tried this. Good kills, though. Yep. Yeah. She's going to die again. Iron's weak. He can't go back behind the lines. They should get him in fall. Yeah, good fall by Iron. Looks like Brutal thought he had a lot, and he didn't. Okay, they need to fall now. They need to fall now. 
Dabble grill, grill and Danny didn't turn and run. Lingered way too long. Could have survived. Yeah. They'd done it. Little things like that. Nobody's going to survive at this point. Sabo's definitely... Yeah. Oh, man. You, know, you need to know when to cut your losses. Yeah. And... Good luck. Although Good luck. Danny almost got demon there. <laughs> to ruin my UFL, Eric. Thanks. Ah, <laughs> uh, over 9,000 down in the rocks. Setting up for uh, another play. 74 to 26 in their favor with six minutes to go. Um, I, I actually it... like the way DT has played the second half of this game, even though they're losing. Yeah. It's nice to see them, um, you know, pull it together, start putting some plays together, start making some counterattacks. Such a good law. I don't think there was anybody that came into this thinking that, that there was a really good shot for ZT to win this. But at the same time, you'd hope to learn something, particularly for your chance to play them again next in, later in the season. Yeah, uh, exactly. You know they can. A few battles they had, they know they can, you know, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, but they at least keep it respectful with the Marine, first Marine. The dawn. <laughs> a fall. Such a hard CC's done a even. really good job uh, metting today in terms of not being over aggressive at all. He hadn't really needed to be, but um, he's done a good job of not being over aggressive. Should live. You know, Dave is stubborn when it comes to AT, but I, I feel like he should have went Marine too. Especially with his play style of, of AT, it nerf really hurt him. Typically, likes to dash in, mm -hmm. fire some bullets, and then dash out. Just can't do that anymore. Especially not in the fast battles. If you got a, a longer battle, maybe, but a nice yeah, law there, Driz. Shasta fighting two on the right. Sabo's just been holding this building to get out of there. Yoshi dead again? Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying. Yoshi. You have to do it. Bully Yoshi. Sir should die here. I mean, I'm sure they're trolling a little bit too because they have such a big lead, but. But, like, you, it goes to your point too. Like, if you would just fought these guys straight up a little bit more, yeah. That might have gave you some confidence after some early kills. You said, Ooh. like, four classes are fun in SBs, and it can work in matches, but I don't know. Too momentum based. Have to win that first couple fights in order for that to work with the Nader and the Demolitionist. Especially on this map, the fights seem to just happen so fast, and if you lose that first guy, it's pretty much over. Yeah. Um, this is. Cool. Another good, good law by Pisser. It's been on point this game. Pisser goes down again. But he did get that law snipe. Set his team on the offensive. Got a good 2v2 south. Split up Iceman versus Shasta CC. It looks like they're going to fall out. And they're allowing to get them south angle. Shasta, though, I don't expect him to push. Sav coming in for the flank right now. South team's a little in bit too short, but I'm going to take that right side from them so they can't run. He has a WP grenade here. Oof, be rough for them. Ensign, whatever they're called in this zone. Still has a dash. Good name. Oh, crazy. Oh, 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 oh. Beautiful name. does have his dash, I think. He does have a dash still, so... Oh, yeah, fine. he's safe, for sure. Almost a good law on the right side. Snaps have fired it. And then the respawn is just a second's too late for it to matter. And this is what we're talking about when we talk about playing sloppy. Their regroups have been bad the last four minutes or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's single file too much. Yeah. Have to sacrifice a team and regroup it. You know, if you have to run back to your base, you and it might not be the match at this point particularly where you might just want to take a second to just compose. Well, they should have done that at the 23 minute mark. <laughs> to it now, it's kind of uh, devolved into public play a little bit here. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. if you can, 
I mean, like every time the whole team dies, I would say just recalibrate. Say, hey guys, let's let this is what we're gonna do this time. Let's do it. Yeah. Um, you already have it in your mindset that you lost the game like 20 minutes ago, right? So play it out, but you normally would play it. just be complicit. You, okay. you already see it now. Even though Interior got a kill, it's like switching classes willy nilly now. Yep. Minute 43 left in this game. Scores 93 to 33. Clearly a one sided affair. Uh, kind of disaster strikes for zero tolerance, although everyone knew it was going to be a loss. Bob looking like deadliest player already. Yeah, not surprising. He picked up AT towards the end of last season and he was destroying everyone with it. Yeah, Sav is, Sav is not typically considered the strongest of the players on this roster. Meant to, I mean, lead, from a leading perspective, obviously he's invaluable in his ability to play every class, but um, I don't think anybody was necessarily expecting him to be number one UFL. I told, I don't know who I was talking to uh, a couple weeks back, but I said, I was going to play AT all season, and he's just going to destroy everyone. Guy, I don't like the class as much anymore, but it not really affecting him, so. Good kill south, they should win this battle. Mm -hmm. Good nade, good nade. 30 seconds left. So for me, ZT needs to decide on, one, what classes are we gonna play this season? Two, who is even in our starting lineup? Because they have so many active players that play every night. You can't be cohesive and become better as a unit if you're subbing players constantly in and out. And three, who's who's our leader? If we have too many cooks in the kitchen, it's not going to work. Yeah, again, like I don't know much about ZT in terms of who actually leads us fees and stuff, so I'm really just say that. But I think it should be one, maybe two leaders at most leading. Whereas you have like seven different play styles, like we saw last time with FUP. That is the final score. The game has ended. A 100 to 35 is the final score there. Not, you know, not what I expected, but surprising. Yeah, tough start for ZT, and they just couldn't recover. Great game by Sov. CC had yeah. most heals. Good, good match by him. Good all around. Mister had some really good loss snipes this game. DC was pretty consistent. I'm asking Demon to join us now when he's available. Let's see here. Don't get too giddy, Tom. Um. <laughs> <laughs> VP saw. Surprising. Uh, what a game. What a game. <clears throat> you learned a lot about that roster. That roster is strong. As you said in the very beginning, um, Trizen's added is just a, a, a force multiplier. Um, and then they brought in CC to mid, yeah. and I didn't see a lot of drop off. Scary, too, because that's not even close to being their top line. So. Yeah, no champion, no ESO. No Nas. Although Iso curiously is in the USL live chat right now. It really makes you think. It's on vacation. I think I read I think. he was on vacation. Vibing. <laughs> What's up? What's going on, Eric? Congratulations on your victory against Zero Towers today. 100 to 35. Um, so ZT came out of there at the very beginning and brought the battle right to you guys. Is that what you expected them to do? And when you guys hit them you know, right on the chin, was that the plan to just keep bringing the battle to them over and over again as long as they were willing to do it? So to answer the first part of the question, uh, no. I We expected them to kind of ambush a corner and, and kind of try and get a cheese kill on, on one of our main groups and then try and take over from there. But uh, the second part of the question, yeah, as soon as we won the first fight, we just wanted to keep taking it to them. Yeah. Um, 
in terms of this is the first match that Urban Decay has been played uh, as an official USL map. Um, what did you think about the first match with that in terms of, I mean, I know it was kind of a blowout, but, but how was it from a leading perspective and a playing perspective? Um, it's okay. Uh, there's, there's definitely still some tweaks that, that can be made and, um, a lot of physics that can still be removed, uh, specifically running out of Kali since I died seven times. There's a lot of obstacles that I have to run around if I want to go out South and run. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like all those barbed wires and those random bunkers that are there. I don't mind the rocks. That's fine. But just a, a bunch of minuscule uh, tweaks that could be made that that would make this map feel a little bit just better. Just streamline, uh, allow you to, to run just 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 obstructions in terms of physics, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. I, I completely understand. That's something that Mecca has echoed several times. Um, I didn't see your MVP tonight. Who, who, uh, Sav, of course, Sav. Let's let, how can we leave that on the table? 23 yeah. and three on the day. Talk about your, uh, your leader's performance and, and, and how he did today. Uh, I mean, it's, it's Sav. He got AT. He was getting the solo angles and, uh, they were just kind of letting him dictate the battle, the pace of the battle, and letting him get the angles that he was fighting for. And he capitalized on every single one. Well, uh, it was it was quite an opening statement from over nine thousand. Eric, thank thank you for joining us, and uh, congratulations mm-hmm. on the win again, my friend. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you soon. See you soon. Um, well, uh, any final thoughts from our co-hosts at all about that about that match, how it went, anything you want to add that we didn't talk about already? No, we pretty much summed it up. I think. Okay. Uh, season twenty two, death to support classes. That's proven here tonight. <laughs> We'll see if the if the rest of the the matches on Urban Decay prove any better for support classes. I do think that that was a dismal showing for them, though. Um, that will conclude our broadcast of the Week One matchup. Next up, True Combat Overlords will take on Taking Back Sunday, and Over Nine Thousand will return for the second leg of a double header to face off against Hungry Beavers in the match of the week. Uh, again, the score was a hundred to thirty five. Um, we want to welcome any and all new or returning players to join the fight at freeinfantry.com or to find out more about Unified Skirmish League, please visit uslzone.com. Uh, thanks to my co-hosts for today, Tactical and Gift. This has been Romulox, and you've been watching Unified Skirmish League on USL Live.